So the first thing that we got to do is we got to make sure the gun is unloaded. Yep, we're good. Mag's out. Nothing in the chamber. Cool. All right, so we're going to start here at the front. You're going to take your barrel bushing tool. And you're going to go ahead and push down and spin this guy all the way counterclockwise. That will allow you to remove your recoil spring and bushing. Go ahead and spin your barrel bushing back and you'll be able to slide that off of your barrel. Go ahead and pull your slide back and you wanna line up your slide right here at this little half moon. That's your takedown position. Pop your slide release out. Slide comes off, you have your lower frame, you got your recoil guide rod, and you have your barrel. So let's go ahead and take all the parts, push them out of the way. Now we have our slide, and we are ready to go ahead and get it mounted up and get these sights off and try and see where we stand with the new ones. Okay, so we are all set ready to go we got the pet screw out we're ready to go ahead and push the rear sight out so we'll go ahead and tighten up our vise make sure we're nice and tight okay go ahead and slide into your tool here like that you're going to go ahead and tighten up this block here make sure you're nice and straight on it okay you want to get nice and centered up with that dovetail as best you can. And we'll go ahead and just start pushing this sight. Let's see where we're at. Mm. Bring that forward just a hair. Sight should come right out, just like that. This one has never been apart, and it has been together for quite some time. Um, probably the better part of about 15 years. So, this one was a little tighter than some may be. I'm going to put this one thing right apart real easy. There you go. Sight is out. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and do the same with the front. sight removed we'll go ahead and come back in here with our front sight and go ahead and line this up I'm gonna get it nice and square right about there should be good okay and we will come in here and just do it like we did the rear sight should just press right out of that dovetail. Yep, there she goes. Front sight's a little easier than the rear. Not as tight fitting. And you're just going to press that sight right out. Okay, we got our sights out. Let's go ahead and measure our old sites and compare them to the new ones and see where we stand. Something that's really important to do before you go ahead and try and press these sites in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our original site that came out of the slide and we're gonna go ahead and take a dial indicator and we are going to measure how much we have on the dovetail. We need to know exactly how wide is it 
and I'm getting, what do I got here? I'm getting 481, 481 thousands, okay? Our new site is gonna be, looks like 474. So that's seven thou bigger on the old one, it looks like. Okay, 474, and this one's, straighten that out, 481 it looks like, yeah. Okay, so don't have to file fit it because the new one is smaller, so it's still going to be a tight fit, but it'll press in just nice and easy, and it's got the set screw to hold it down. So you'll be fine with that. Our front sight is looking like, Get that nice and straight. Front sight, we got 318. And our new one is gonna be 315. So that'll work just fine, okay? You always wanna check your sights before you go ahead and try to press them in like that because if they're bigger than your original sight, obviously they need to be filed down to be fitted to the dovetail. So now we can go ahead and just get started on putting them back in the slide. Something you should do before you go and try to push these sights in, you wanna take a pick like this and you wanna dig into this dovetail and make sure there's no grit, no rust, anything in there. You want to just get all that out. Make sure you do that to both of them, front and rear. Make sure there's nothing in there. Because if you have a burr or something down there in that dovetail, it's not going to push in. Okay, it's nice and clean. So make sure you clean your dovetails, and then you should be good to go and ready to press them in. Okay, so before you go ahead and try to push in your rear sight, what you're going to do is take your new rear sight, slide it in that dovetail a little bit, lay it on the bench here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. There we go. And you're just gonna take the nylon end of this little hammer I got at Harbor Freight. These are like five, six bucks. You're just gonna tap it in just a little bit. Okay, so now that we have pressed our rear sight in just a little bit by tapping it with the hammer just to get it started we'll go ahead and put our slide back in the sight pusher there we go and we will go ahead and press our sight in should be about center we'll go ahead and double check but our rear sight is now in so we can go ahead and pull our slide out and pair pliers for that and yeah we should be good there's your rear sight installed Let's move on to the front sight. All right, so now that we got the rear sight in, we're gonna go ahead and do the same as we did with the rear sight. We're gonna tap this one in just a little bit to get it started. There we go. Just a little bit. Okay, we'll get it in the dovetail. We'll just tap it. In. Tap it into the dovetail. And we're ready to go ahead and press it in. Okay, so we'll take our slide with our new front sight. And we'll go ahead and get it in there, line it up. That should be good there. Just gently push it in. Nice and easy. And that line 
this up with our mark from our old site. And we can go ahead and take this back. There we go. And we got our front sight installed. There you go. All right, so now that we have our new sights installed and they're positioned to where I like them, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down this set screw on the rear sight using a one and a half millimeter Allen screw. I'm sorry, a one and a half millimeter hex head. You just give it a little snug and you'll be good to go. Now we can go ahead and reassemble. All right, let's go ahead and reassemble our 1911 with our nice new night sights. First, we're gonna take the barrel. That's gonna go in the slide like this. You're gonna take your recoil spring, and you're gonna take your frame. Slide your slide and barrel and recoil spring onto the frame. Just gotta play with the barrel a little bit before you get, there we go. Bring your slide back to here. And all you gotta do is just bring your slide back to that takedown position, like I shown in my field strip video. And I also showed when taking it apart before the site install. But you come back here. There we go. Nice, we're in. Cool. Push your slide forward. Go ahead and take your recoil spring. I'm sorry, your barrel bushing. Spin your bushing like so, off to the left side. Take your recoil spring. Take your bushing for your recoil spring. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press this down in and hold it with your thumb. Take your wrench, your barrel bushing wrench, and slide that over your bushing like that. And it'll snap together. That's how you install night sights on your Rock Island 1911. Look at that, they look great. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment as always. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a nice one.